Hi guys, so got loads of great memories of Amiga cover discs and every December or January they do a Christmas issue like this one, the One Amiga, which came with a full game called Galactic which was Christmas themed. So I thought this Christmas for the special it'd be nice to have a look at some of the best Christmas themed demo discs that came on these magazines and I hope you enjoy the video. Before you watch, just wishing everyone who watches a very Merry Christmas. Cheers. Our first demo was included on issue 54 of Amiga Format, which was the Christmas 1993 issue. Canon Fodder Amiga Format Christmas Special, or Canon Soccer as it's more affectionately known, merged two of Sensible Software's two most loved franchises, Canon Fodder and Sensible Soccer. The demo consists of two levels, the first called Land of Hope and Glory starts out with a standard cannon fodder setup with you controlling a team of four troops including the legend himself, Jules. Unusually though, below you is a football pitch with the festive message Merry Christmas in the snow above it. As your team of troops invades the pitch, they come face to face with a rival football team and promptly gun them down without mercy. The second level, called It's Snow Time, is more classic cannon fodder as you blast your way through the snowy terrain, shooting enemy troops and blowing up buildings. Nothing says Christmas like mercilessly massacring your enemies. Next up is Psycho Santa. This one, although a cover disc exclusive for the One Amiga, was actually a full game. A small game, but a full one nevertheless. It was on a cover disc for January 93's issue 52. Developed by renowned Amiga developer Bullfrog, Psycho Santa is a side-scrolling shooter of sorts. You control Santa himself as he rides his trademark sleigh over the rooftops and must drop presents onto the houses below while avoiding enemies. Santa has snowballs which he can use as projectiles and has to avoid falling icicles. It can be pretty difficult to aim the presents accurately as Santa throws them behind the sleigh and there isn't a whole lot of room to manoeuvre. Bonus levels see Santa on a pogo stick, bouncing progressively higher in order to grab presents off a Christmas tree, but the controls here are perhaps even more frustrating than the main game. And that's all there is to it really, the sound effects aren't great and the gameplay is very repetitive, but as a bit of free fun for Christmas it was a bit of a laugh. 80R All-Terrain Racing Christmas Edition came on issue 67 of Amiga format in January 1995. This was a two-course demo of Team 17's Amiga exclusive All-Terrain Racing with a Christmas theme. The original 80R often gets overlooked, especially when compared with the popular top-down racers on the Amiga like Super Off-Road and Micro Machines, but it's a fun, well-presented game with some lovely graphics and superb music and sound effects. This Amiga Format exclusive demo is no different and is excellent both visually and audibly. The music is a remix of Jingle Bells and has that signature Amiga quality. The first course is very festive indeed, complete with decorated Christmas trees, snow and banners wishing you a Merry Christmas. As you drive around the snow covered village, you might even spot Santa himself, who's face planted onto the roof of one of the cabins. The second course is more like the full game, with rocky terrain and water, and beyond the music it doesn't really seem to be Christmas themed at all, strangely. A very good little demo, and as I said the full game is an excellent one to try if it's passed you by. Fire and Ice Christmas Edition is a demo version of Fire and Ice, an action platformer developed by Graft Gold and published by Renegade in 1992. It was on a cover disc on Amiga Power Issue 20 in December 1992. This is essentially a Christmas themed version of the original. In the words of Amiga Power, Cool Coyote becomes a Yule Coyote, complete with Santa outfit. Gameplay sticks to the platform shooter setup, but the snowy level is filled with festive features like presents and Christmas puddings. The music is as bizarre as it is excellent, sort of an early 90s dance tune that sporadically morphs into a Christmas carol, which sounds like a play on Jingle Bells. It's good fun, 
and it's both an enjoyable welcome to Fire and Ice for newcomers and a clever way for Graft Gold to market their game. Lastly we have what are arguably the most well known Christmas themed demos on the Amiga, Christmas Lemmings. Christmas Lemmings, sometimes known as Holiday Lemmings, started as sets of Christmas themed demo levels before developing into fully fledged games and are, obviously, spin-offs of the widely ported Lemmings series developed by DMA Design and published by Cygnosis. Released from 91 to 94, the first two in 91 and 92 were four level demos, with 93 and 94's offerings being standalone titles containing 32 levels. The first Christmas Lemmings had two Christmas themed levels and two levels from Oh No More Lemmings and was created as a way of marketing the game. Christmas Lemmings stuck to the proven formula of the main series but added themed objects in the landscape like snowmen and Christmas puddings. The Lemmings themselves each wear a red Santa outfit and the music for which Lemmings was known was also given the Christmas treatment. The Lemmings games featured many classic nursery rhyme style tunes like How Much Is That Doggy in the Window, so the leap to Christmas carols including Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and, again, Jingle Bells was a short one. Excellent fun, despite being more of the same, and ideal if you're the kind of person who simply can't get enough of DMA Design's hugely popular franchise. Plus, nothing says Christmas on the Amiga quite like a festively themed Lemmings game. So those were a few examples of the great little Christmas themed demos that we used to get on cover discs. Some nice memories here, and I have some fond memories of Amiga cover discs in general. Sadly, now they're a relic of a time long since departed, but when I was a kid, these cover discs were a huge source of excitement and wonder, and a perfect way for me to spend my pocket money. Let me know in the comments if you have any memories of playing these demos, or of Amiga cover discs in general. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a very Merry Christmas.